Alright, uh, what's good everyone? Uh, it is myself, Chubbis, and Zed Ahmed here gonna be racing Ghouls and Ghosts on the Mega Drive. What, what good up? Good evening, everyone. Hello! Yeah, um, you know, standard Ghouls and Ghosts fairy here, two loops through. And uh, we'll be commentating the race uh, ourselves, and it should be fun. Yeah, I should see some spaghetti. As per usual. Some jumping and shooting. Oh, Every yeah. Time. Exactly. Well, uh, I think we can just jump right in and just, uh, just skip the other formalities. Sure. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. All right, it'll be on go, on go for three, two, one, go. All right, three, cool. two, one, go. Good luck, y'all. Oh, wow. My life split, uh, decided to freeze. That's, uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was Let's try again, try again. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I actually didn't start my timer either, so that works. Well, I thought we weren't <laughs> supposed to, right? I'm going to start my anyway, yeah, but I think they're doing this. It just, like, freezes on me. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. It's like it need. It's like it needs to be fed like commands to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go. Yeah, me too. Sorry about that. It's all good. My life split does a weird thing where if I've been playing for a while, if I right click on it, it'll just die. It'll just kill itself. So yeah. I can never save my splits anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it has something to do with that. Yeah, I don't know if it's a bug or something wrong with my setup, but it's a little jank. Oh boy, the chat's already asking if we got any big jumpers. You already know. <laughs> oh, you know oh, it. Marcus <laughs> is on the fence, I think, right. but uh, we'll see if we can goad him into it. It's got to jump over that fence. You got to hit that big jump quota, man. <laughs> One out of four. Tries. <laughs> okay, uh, I think uh, we're good to go this time. <clears throat> All right. Cool. I'm ready. All right. All right. On go. Three, two, one, go. Good luck. Things seem in order. Yeah, good luck to you guys. Good luck. Elian, good luck. <laughs> My favorite uh, quote from Re the Resident Evil 4 opening. <laughs> Man, that's a game I've had in my back burner for years. Yeah, I haven't played through that. Game. What? I think I've, like, had it, too. I think I bought it, and I just have not played it. I heard it's incredible. Retro gaming pitchfork. Ma 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 <laughs> yeah. Damn, I'm going to have the mob after me. Resident Evil 4 is retro now. Dude, I don't... It, <laughs> it's not balanced out by running ghouls and ghosts? <laughs> is that not going to appease the mob? It's both Capcom, so, yeah. Anyway, um, we're jumping and shooting. Uh, take a deep boost from stage one. Some of us yeah. most are probably doing that. Yeah. No one going for the uh, quick kill? Oh my god. And gosh. then there can be a butt. Let's see what happens. Yeah, interestingly enough, first huh? boss in the game, uh, one of the most random bosses in the game. He can do some oh, crazy stuff. Yeah, it's got a lot of patterns, but I make it drive these a bit boiled down, thankfully. That's true. It's a bit more tame. Same goes for the turtles. Yeah, uh, infamously random uh, part of the game, but as it turns out, if you just keep moving, you end up uh, doing this part a lot, a lot uh, smoother in general. It's when you stop moving that uh, the turtles start just compounding over each other, and you end up getting hit, and you probably get hit again because they're just like so confused that turtles raining down from the sky. <laughs> Taking a hit there. Same. No, uh, no yeah. plant boost for me here. I gotta watch out for these bats. This game's got a lot of randomly spawning uh, flying enemies, and uh, you, you might have noticed by now that we're constantly jumping. Um, this game's got like Castlevania-style jumps, so you've got no air control, and uh, that combined with lots of randomly spawning flying enemies is very deadly. Yep. Hit the committal jumps, one jump only, and uh, Arthur can't attack up and down or left and or up, sorry, uh, left and right. And he he can uh, he sorry he can attack in all directions in this one, 
can super ghouls and ghosts on the left and right. But uh, that, is, that is one of the things that sets it apart from the two. But uh, because of that, you kind of have a bit more of a fast paced game than Super Ghouls and Ghosts. This is uh, definitely a more fast, fast paced, more fast paced game. Yeah, I really enjoy that about this game. Um, yeah, I mean, shorter game too. Uh, There's a dagger. Game. Anyway, yeah, we're, both, we're all looking for a dagger by uh, destroying the uh, goblins here as much as possible. I think I'm looking I, at a lance run over here. I got a dagger to appear. Yeah, nice. Yeah. No, it's so not one of the more. Uh, yeah, the, like the dagger, the lance is very serviceable. It's good. Uh, <laughs> serviceable, I like that. Yeah, it'll, it'll get us pretty good. Oh, there's a dagger. Oh, man, it's like way up in the corner. Oh, I'm not going for it. Oh, that's In the scary. licorice forest up there? Yeah. But yeah, anyway, then Mega Drive has a trick yet at, uh, where you can clip through this wall up here. If you only, if you don't open more than one chest on this level, you're able to clip through this uh, wall, uh, the scrolling wall. Yeah, one of the more recent developments in this game. Over both loops, uh, six probably like 15 or 16 seconds is pretty huge. Definitely a pretty big time save, so. We'll generally go for it, uh, even if we don't have the dagger. Or, I mean, it was uh, sac cover? sacrifice the dagger in order to go go for it, but I don't know. Not everyone does that. Could be a better. Yeah, I definitely. Uh, <laughs> I definitely didn't open any more boxes, so I could keep my wall clip. Um, that trick was discovered not too long before we had this run up here at uh, AGDQ last year. And uh, around that time, we had the, the times on the leaderboard come down a fair bit after we started integrating that trick into our runs. Yeah. Which was very exciting. It wasn't in the uh, BB for a while. Oops, I grabbed this kit. I did just get to the feet there. Nice. Back to Lance. Then, uh, so the first part of stage four is uh, really perilous. Um, yeah. Big jump. Yeah, these like red worms that kind of come out of the ground. Uh, yeah, they they appear really uh, it's hard to predict how they appear basically. Um, so that'll either get you hit, and then you have to take a death on this checkpoint. Um, then we'll anybody uh, get Arthur sandwich? Nope. You get armor. Good. Sounds like Chubbs had a big jump. Oh yeah. I I'm regret a pretty good run right now. For it. I got my I, hands tied over here. I didn't get a dagger. For it. I got blocked off. Anyway, uh, there's a big jump that I guess I just could jump into. Big jump. It's a jump. It's big. What more could you want? Sometimes you gotta jump big. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, then uh, I'm, the, I'm the green ohm boss. Uh, yeah, just yeah, shoot those intestines four times, take them out. Of course, if you uh, hit them once and you don't hit them again, after a couple seconds they go Whoops. back in the side, and then you gotta wait. Well, I just died. <laughs> the trick there is not suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's some expert advice. I forgot all about that. Tough. Uh, I guess I'm using Lance Magic. Like, I guess this is the thing I'm doing here. Nice. Dagger's back. Nice. I got my dagger back, rib back. Back <laughs> <Not so> bad. <laughs> <laughs> got food. I got food on the mind. Uh, worst joke ever. Oh. Slip that D boost in. We're getting real close from this commentary, like, going from commentary into just, like, Ghoul's grunts. Luke yeah. is just gonna be us screaming. <laughs> it's just madness. But yeah, the race uh, here has my, myself and Zed as uh, former record holders and uh, Chubbis as uh, conten contention for the record. He's yeah. been really close. He's gonna get it, probably. Anyway, uh, so it should be a good race here. As we're almost done with Luke 1. I died on 1-5-8. I think I'm behind now. Check out some uh, 
Hands magic? That's pretty good. Hands magic? <laughs> Hands magic? We already pushed on pants over the boxers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, let me charge this up. Did you guys see the promo page for the new uh, Ghosts and Goblins game where they were talking about like how you get some kind of benefit when uh, you use your armor and call it pants power? Uh, I, well, a commercial for that. Oh. This, this was like the website for Resurrection and uh, <laughs> the translation for like his underwear was just pants. So they were like, yeah, when you get hit, you get pants power. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Seems like an Arthur thing. Yeah, I unfortunately died there. So I'm probably back with Chubbis. I think I'm guys. slightly ahead, actually. I'm having a chat with Santa right now. It was like it's so the end of the uh, For anyone that that's, hasn't seen this game before, uh, the... The uh, key feature of the series is that there are two loops. So uh, the little cutscene you're seeing here, um, we're running the Japanese version because the, uh, the cutscene goes by significantly quicker. Um, but in the cutscene, uh, you see Saint Michael, I think it is, telling you that you cannot defeat Loki, the final boss, and you've got to go back to the beginning of the game and fetch the Psycho Cannon, which is the ultimate weapon. So uh, you're going to see the same stages again. Uh, another fun fact, they're actually identical, aside from one extra bird on the first stage. Yeah, and then Gotta like, watch out for that bird. Well, in the game, uh, rank up the difficulty based off of how long you've survived. So yes. your second loop will start out a little bit different if you didn't take a death in the stage five, which we actually planned to do. And that's to make it so uh, a worm doesn't get in our way. I'm yeah, I took, I took two just in case. Because that was optimal. <laughs> You can't, uh, well, it's really, well, you can still deep with stuff if it gets in the way and complicates it. Oh my god, I knew so jumping the shield there, that got real dicey. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of bravery. Uh, without thinking, I actually took, like, the safe route out. I like, didn't use my arm. Oh, I see. Yeah, pilot safety, nice. Yeah, that's a rare one for <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, solid pilot. It's really yeah. rare. I was doing it in the, like, right before. Yeah, so like Aquas mentioned, there's a dynamic difficulty system where the game is constantly becoming more difficult the longer you stay alive. And that affects things like random enemy spawns, projectile speeds, and it's really what keeps this game fresh. Uh, this isn't like, you know, uh, this isn't a game where you're basically trying to execute the same thing every run. Yeah, you really gotta learn to roll with the punches and it keeps it really fun. Indeed. Ah, uh, can't turtle again. Turtles are two for two on me today. <laughs> Turtles are working hard, man. Looking to get that pay raise. They work hard, they play hard. <laughs> they do be playing hard. Not clog the hole. Just don't. <laughs> so now that we're on the second loop, uh, you actually have access to the ultimate weapon straight from the first stage on the second loop. We don't take it because of the stage four boss. It's a uh, it's a unique weapon in that the damage it deals is based on proximity. And on the stage four boss, you really can't get any point blank shots in. Um, so it ends up being a really dangerous fight. So we grab it on the last stage and try to keep the dagger for as long as we can. My lord, I have so many goblins. Got a bunch of ghouls pod champs floating around. Stage three. They're all pogging. Pogging for the, uh, yeah, the enemy champ. He's all pogging for the wall clip. 
Most of it's pretty good. Uh, well, Loop 2 does have more goblins. Uh, in LA. Yeah. That, that is one. That is one difference, right? That's true. I forgot about that. There actually, someone dug into it recently, and there actually is a slight difference in the rank calculation on Loop Two as well. But in the speed run, we spend a lot of the run on max rank. Um, we look, we look to reset it in a couple of places, but uh, for a lot of the run, we're at max rank. Yeah, I think it just. I think it just starts. It gets maxed by stage four, essentially. I think. I can't believe I didn't despawn the new man. I think we like that anyway. Oh, we got worm skip. And I'm gonna get sandwiched, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I actually didn't. Let's go. Go for big jump again. I'm going for my first one. I'm gonna hit the quota. Oh, I <laughs> fell. I did the big sit. <laughs> God, the Sid, another ghoul's classic. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Big John, let's get it. Let's go. Oh, you're ahead of me now, dang it. Ooh. Big John provides. <laughs> oh, I got some real spooky worms on Ondo. Blocks, wow, that's rude, dude. These big flying worms on home are like pretty random. We haven't figured out any kind of manipulation or anything on them. And they're totally invincible. They block your projectiles and uh, they can make that fight really tough. Sometimes they'll get in your way. You just gotta concede. You can lose a lot of time there. Yeah, that's. Well, I'm gonna get crazy now. The psycho cannon. I think this can't work. Oh no. Well, I, I tried it. Hashtag worth. Oh my god. You gotta do it for the F waves. If you just skip the big jump, <gasps> we're gonna come for you. I did not expect the armor to go underneath the floor like that. Whoops. That's a mess. Sure, no gown for it. Oh, for armor skip, and it actually worked. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, well. Let's see how hard we find around here with a gift. Aw, oh, Bob wants to straight up. Ah, oh, you're killing it though. Ah. Still messing up the timer. That's rough. I mean, 
mean, not really. You know, for our... It's okay. This is like... This is like top-tier ghouls action right here. But, uh... You know, getting a race time under 18 minutes is pretty incredible. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good. Yeah, it was... It's just unfortunate that all my mistakes were in 5 A's. <laughs> But that happens. So, oh, no. so Beelzebub is like a big gatekeeper of this run. He's not as bad as Nebiroth and Super Ghost. For anyone that has learned to pass speed run, bless your soul, uh, that is uh, like by far the toughest part of that game. And uh, at least for me, learning Super Ghouls, I spent as much time learning how to fight Nebiroth as I did learning the rest of the game. Um, in this game, you know, Bub isn't as bad, but. He can, he can lose you so much time. He's, like, totally random. Um, you know, some of the other bosses in this game, we don't really have any kind of manip or anything, but they do only have sort of a few patterns. Bob, on the other hand, just does whatever he wants, and uh, he can just run away from you for, like, five cycles in a row, and you're just going to lose your run. It's the worst, yeah. It's brutal. So we, what you'll see a lot is uh, you'll see people fight him super aggressive because you don't want to let him just kind of fly away and cost you a bunch of time, and you can end up dying. Or you get the axe. I'm just kidding. Or you get the axe and you one-shot him. Cause, so you're right. <laughs> no, I'm glad you brought that up. Another really interesting development in Ghouls recently is uh, the axe, which was considered like by far the worst weapon of the game, almost unusable. Uh, we discovered a glitch that allows you to like quick kill the bot like faster than any other weapon. Um, GG, of course. We call it the Super Axe. GG. Yeah. Yeah, it turns out that the game has a overlapping hitbox mechanic. It's like two glitches together. You have to like, there's a way to spawn two axes at once. And then also there's like the overlapping hitboxes glitch. And those two together make the axe like, like super good. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Dude, you're able to throw two axes uh, via a trick and you overlap them and it does per frame damage, so it's awesome. You got to get that Beelzebub quick kill with the axe, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, the odds of it showing up when you need to are pretty slim to none, but, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll save that for the perfect run of ghouls. Yeah. And I was all calling out uh, God Mode Arthur in the credits. Yeah, really funny. <laughs> I in love the, it. Uh, the little demo reel. Yeah, he, like, <laughs> whoever was playing the demo reel here, like they really tried to dodge, but uh, <laughs> didn't do a great <laughs> job. Dodge. It's like they, they're like, wait, how many frames do we need? Oh, I have to go right up to the death end. Oh, dang it. <laughs> this is so good.